Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. It is, I have to switch my calendar because it's Wednesday, December 1st. Wow, already, this just blows my mind. And I was not here yesterday, but I do have yesterday's message that I'm going to post later today. But right now, I know this isn't as Christmassy of a setup as I was hoping for. I'll get more Christmassy as we get throughout the month. So this month, we are using the Whispers of Healing Oracle deck. These are also such beautiful cards. I love them so much. And they're not like snowmen and Santa Claus and reindeer. But for some reason, it just felt so fitting for this month. So today we have angel number 22, Breathe. And um, I actually, a couple cards fell out and I asked my pendulum to let me know which one was the one and this was the one. So um, somebody out there really needs to hear this today. Let me know in the comments if that somebody is you. Okay, breathe. When negativity surrounds you, create a space where you can take a few minutes to reprieve to regain rationality. Close your eyes and take a slow, deliberate breath. Visualize love and positive energy coming to you with each breath in. Imagine you are releasing fear every time you exhale. Take a moment now to practice breathing techniques. This can be helpful for you to feel replenished. Wow, I'm a little slow. With effort, try to make your breath a little bit longer and a little bit deeper. Longer, deeper breaths have a direct effect on your nervous system. It is human to take shallow breaths when you are in tense situations. Feel how much healing you can experience by being mindful of your breathing. Mermaids and mammals in the ocean must surface to take a breath. This card comes as a perfectly timed reminder for you to stop and breathe. When you learn to take long, slow, deep breaths, life takes on a new quality. You'll be more able to appreciate the beauty around you. The mermaid reaches for the surface of the ocean, just as you reach to break the surface of old patterns. You can transform an aspect of your life by slowing down and breathing deeply. As you read this message, or as you listen to this message, did you take a breath deep into your stomach and slowly release it? If not, do so now. Okay, so we are. We're going to take a breath together. And I'm 35 years old, and it wasn't until a year ago that I actually started meditating and doing breath work. And um, I hope to help teach others sooner in their lives how important um, breathing techniques really can be. Now, um, I spent a lot of my life with social and generalized anxiety and panic disorder and PTSD from um, certain aspects of my life, particularly um, when I almost died having my third daughter, my third daughter, my third child, my second daughter. So um, I had PTSD when it came to doctors and hospitals and I wouldn't let her leave my side. And um, yes, I spent a lot of my life struggling to go in public places um, and I would just have full blown panic attacks and I didn't understand how to breathe through it, okay? And I know it sounds silly because if you would have told me in my 20s to just breathe, I would have laughed at you, okay? I would have been like, you know, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of, but it's really not, especially if you do what it just explained, okay? Breathe in through your nose, a long, deep breath, and we're going to envision, I like to envision breathing in pure white smoke, okay? That's just what I personally do. Um, I imagine myself breathing in love and whatever it is that I need at the time, patience, um, support, um, anything, whatever it is, like I said, that I need. I'm breathing this in through my nose, long, deep, okay? And then hold it for just a second. And slowly breathe it out. And when I breathe out, I envision myself breathing out like a black smoke. Everything that I want to release, my anxiety, my stress, my tension, my fears, okay? You can really breathe through them. And if you can take a minute to just do it for a couple minutes, it really is going to calm you down. And I've noticed that 
when I close my eyes, when I'm doing breathing techniques, I don't even have to be meditating, but when I'm breathing the out, it's actually amazing um, for me as a psychic what, uh, what I see and what I feel and what comes through if I pay attention um, on my out breaths. So it's pretty crazy. And you really envision yourself breathing in this white, pure, um, either smoke or light or um, your, it can be whatever you want it to be, okay? And it can be whatever color you envision it to be. And then on your out, you know, like I said, I see, I see black because I guess I relate black to everything. Um, not negative. I like the color of black, but um, it's just what came to me. So that's how I do it. And I blow out a black smoke or a black light. And I see myself releasing that energy. Um, and spirit really wants you, if you're listening to this, to try some breath work today, especially if you never have before. Okay, find some videos on YouTube. Um, it can be just a couple minutes long. Take a couple minutes to um, bring into your life this idea that breathing through um, tense situations is something that you can really do because it is. Um, and this is also a reminder to myself. So um, this is really a great way to start off the month. And let's see, I'm still using the starry affirmation cards. I don't see why not. Why should it? So today we have miracles happen when I give the universe my clear intentions. And I love this because this Saturday, I believe on December 4th, we have the new moon. And with the full moon that we just had and then that lunar eclipse, that rare lunar eclipse, now we also have a new moon with a solar eclipse. And there was a lot of new beginnings that are going to be coming into your lives, okay? What a great time to practice breath work when we are closing certain chapters in our life and opening other chapters in our life, okay? Other volumes. It might be a whole brand new book, okay? And your guides are telling you that miracles do happen when you give the universe your clear intentions. And I love this right now because it's reminding all of us to start thinking of our intentions right now. What is it that we would like to accomplish over this next cycle? Um, what intentions do you have for your life? And remember that miracles do happen. Um, I've been trying to kind of explain to my husband because he sees me do it month after month after month. And I think he's starting to catch on to the fact that um, it's not that he doesn't believe in what I do. He does, but he doesn't see it on the magnitude of the scale where I see it, okay? Because um, I truly believe that if I have $20 left in my pocket, you know, that I am going to spend that knowing that money is coming. Um, he's still struggling to have that mindset. And it's kind of the same thing that um, when you can clear your muddled mind and, and have clear intentions, this is what I intend to do. This is what I intend to get. This is what I intend to have for my life, for my family in my life, okay? Miracles really do happen. Um, like, for example, I'm potty training two-year-old twins. And last month, one of my intentions was to have my twins potty trained. Um, like 10 days after that, my, my two-year-old son pooped on the potty for the first time. That was a miracle in my book, okay? <laughs> so you've got to believe. Set these intentions. Start writing them down right now. Make a list. Um, journal, okay? Or at least just start thinking in your mind, what is it that you would like to accomplish over the next 30 days? And remember, I don't mean to like... Um, stress you out or anything, but this is the last month in 2021. And I really strongly feel that 2022 is going to be a powerful year of change for many of you, many of us, okay, myself included. Um, I personally am super excited for 2022. I feel like some crazy things are going to happen in my life and I'm trying to really prepare myself. So this last month of the year, I'm trying to really um, wrap up and reflect on how far I have come this month, uh, this year, excuse me. And um, I, I suggest to you to think of how far you've come this year. Okay, even if it doesn't seem like much, baby steps are huge. Um, so think about everything that you've accomplished over this year, everything that you've come through and overcame this year. Okay, and then start thinking about where you want your life to go. Um, this can be in career wise. Um, if you want to move, if you want a new job, where do you want your life to go? 
Start setting clear intentions, guys. We can wrap up 2021 with a bang. We really can. We've got this last cycle here to really, you know, push through this last little bit of this year and come out of this year right on top. You can. And I know that a lot of people right now are in like this unknown stuck phase, kind of where I was a few months ago. And um, you got to believe in your heart that things are only going to get better from here, okay? Like that's a promise from my soul to yours. I promise you things are going to get better. And um, with this solar eclipse Saturday on this new moon, this energy, this is powerful. This is very powerful for um, starting new things in your life. So start creating your intentions now. Be clear on your intentions to the universe and miracles are going to come into your life. When do miracles come? When you believe that miracles do exist. So believe, all right? Okay, I hope you all have a super awesome day today. I'm going to <laughs> now be putting out yesterday's message. <laughs> so um, you guys get two messages today. I hope you listen to them both. And then I hope you have a super awesome rest of your day. And the first day of December. Ah, right? Oh my gosh, it's crazy. All right, love, light, and blessing, spirit fam. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.